So I suppose till this point everything is clear. Yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. Now I will go into the next level of learning. Okay. Now here uh, we uh, I think all of you can see this body, and uh, you can see that this is the exact direction is carrying the axis of rotation, and this whole body is rotating. Okay. And uh, we have taken one particle which is going along this circle. I suppose all of you yes. can see this, right? Huh. Yes. So the center of this circle is C, and from C, the radius of the circle is small r. Okay, hello. So the position vector of the particle at this point P is r bar, and the reference line is taken here. Can you see the x-axis here? Hello. Yes. Huh. So and this line is. Uh, this body has just rotated from here to here, making an angle theta. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hmm. Yes, sir. Now, uh, see. Now we are going into the depth of the uh, slowly. We are getting into the water. I can say and going deeper into the ocean to see it. So now you see uh, this whole exercise. Uh, I am creating a reference point here. Can you see here? Reference point O on the axis. So you can see x axis, y axis, and of course the z axis. Okay. Huh. Now uh, I will now look at this particle here from this point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will look at this particle from this point. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Huh. now uh, that means now if you are seeing this particle from this point. From this point means what? See, I am seeing this particle from this point, so I'll see it rotating like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, correct. Yes, sir. So, if my hand is like this, it is doing this. Yes, sir. So, this becomes the radius vector. It is going like this. It is creating a cone. Yes, correct. Yes. Huh. yes. <laughs> That's what we have to see. Now, the thing is, um, if from this point C, if I am watching and saying that the angular speed of this is omega. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, at this sir. point I am seeing, and I say that the angular speed of this is omega. Okay. Or acceleration is alpha, whatever it is. Okay. Now if I yes. see from this point, if I see its angular speed is omega. From this point, if I see what is the angular speed of this? From which point? From point O. From point O. What is the C from point C? What is the if the angular speed is omega from point O? What is the angular speed of this? Omega. 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 Very good. So all of you are convinced it is omega. Yes. Prove it. Sir, yes, you discuss among yourself. You discuss among yourself. I will try my own means to explain this to you. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, have you come out with some solution there? Hello? What is that? What is that? Correct. What is that? Define and Define is that in the circle and in the small and also very small. Define. Theta will always be constant because that is R. That makes sense. And R sin theta will be nothing but R and the radius in that circle. So it's correct. That is. Arun has understood what I have written on the board. Yes, in in a whole body shape, all particles will have all three same like angular velocity, angular. Hello. Understood. So, Saru and uh, Arun have understood. What about others? Sir, sir. 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 No, take any, any. Yes, sir. Outside this. Wait, wait, wait. Outside, outside, you can take. I have only taken it at the periphery. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll explain this. Now, uh, one of your friends wants me to take an odd body. Right? No. So, I will take a very odd body. Right? So, I will take uh, this one. Yes. Right? And uh, this is small r. And uh, this will go by this. So this is d theta. So I will use d uh, phi here. Hmm? I'll use d phi here. Instead of d theta, I just add d theta. So this point is C, and this is this is d f. Okay, got it? Yes, yes. Yes. I will use different numbers. Huh? So this line is small r. And this angle that it is making is d phi. Okay, so therefore I will write it as d l is equal to r d phi. Any issues here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I will take this point as O and this line as r, and this angle I will take it as theta. Any problem? No, sir. No, sir. Huh. Now, therefore, now you see r sin theta. What is r sin theta? This is smaller. Yes. Okay. And now, what is dl? Hmm? So I will differentiate. I will write it by delta t and limit as delta t equals to zero. So I can write this uh, equation as v is equal to r into omega. Yes, that is yes. r into d phi by d p. Correct? Okay. D phi by d p, yes. Sir. So I got that. So uh, as far as uh, uh, this is concerned, what is r sin theta? r sin theta is? Constant. r sin theta is a constant unit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. r sin theta is a constant unit. So therefore, uh, when you see this happening from this point also, you are going to get here what? You are going to see this, uh, this you, from here if you see, you are going to see this DL and the DL it will cover in the time DT only, isn't it? So therefore, therefore R sin, small r is equal to R sin theta. Therefore, from this point you see it as this is going with omega. From this point also you will see it going with omega only. Sir, not omega. Not omega. Different velocity will be same for omega. Yes, sir, only linear velocity that's it, sir. I never understood the concept. So the linear velocity here will be r sin theta. Okay. The linear velocity that you see here will be r, uh, the linear velocity that you see from here will also be that is from here if you see also it will cover dl in the same time t. Yes, and from here also you are covering the same time t. Okay. So linear velocity that's the linear that is one bit. So linear velocity the same. So the linear velocity yes. at this from seen from this point and seen from this point are same. 
right yes. ah, see yes. you cannot talk about angular velocity there because angular velocity is you see from here you know how much dt it is going ah, yes. so from yes. here if you see it is going like this okay ha ah, but one more way by which you can say is from this point you will see that this will go and come back here in time t from here also if you see it will go from here and come back here in the same time t yes sir hello yes sir yes sir so you are so you are standing here and seeing one complete revolution yes yes in time t yes sir yes sir and yes, sir. from here also you are seeing one complete revolution in time t radius radius is different ah but the time period is same hello time period yes sir time period is same right and time period is what 2 pi by omega 2 pi by yes sir yes sir so if t yes. and 2 pi is constant so if if you see from here it is capital t and if you see from here also it is capital c therefore the omega from here and here must be same yes sir so same. omega not same. why not sir why why it should be why it should not be same it should not be same sir चेंजिंग Hmm. But angular velocity will not be same. Sir, so they 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 in that equation where you wrote now, sir, V is equal to R omega. Sir, they, see now now please tell me. Initially, is, see this person will see this going like this and coming back in time t. Yes, sir. This person will also see this going like this and coming back here in yes, the same sir. time t. Yes, sir. Right? Huh. Yes. Sir. So as far as t is concerned, t is concerned. What is t in terms of angular variables? It is two pi by omega. Yes, sir. Two okay. pi by omega. So for this, for this, if you say this is omega, for this, why you can't say this is the same omega? Sir, omega angular. There is a difference between angular frequency and angular velocity, no sir. Hey, see this basic okay fine. I have got your doubt. See, I told you once. When will you use angular speed and when will you use angular velocity and when will you use the term angular frequency? How many degrees did it move per second? You will use the word angular speed. Yes. How many angular degrees it moved? Angular velocity, right? How many times it has gone? You will use the word angular frequency. All numerically, all of them are same. Sir, unit wise it is same, sir. But magnitude. Numerically, mag magnitude wise also it's same. Why it why it not be same? Sir, angular frequency is different. Angular angular velocity and angular frequency both will be different, no? Why it will be different, man? Why it will be different? You tell. Sir, angular frequency, sir, only we are saying two. Hey, yar, you stand here and you count how many times this body will go through this point. You stand here and you count. Sir, that time. You stand here and count how many times it will go. It will go say n times. Okay. And from here you stand and count how many times it will go say n times. Yes, sir. So number of rotations it has made in one second is angular frequency. Yes, sir. I, sir, I I got that point that angular frequency is the same, sir. But I'm getting confused between angular frequency and angular velocity. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tell you are not listening to me. What can I do? You are thinking. See now, if you stand here and say how many degrees it has moved divided by the time taken, yes, then the quantity you will write is angular velocity. Velocity of this. Yes. If you stand here and count how many times it has moved to this point in one second, ah. then you will say how angular frequency. Ah, yes. Both are same. Both are same. Yes, you stand here and you count how many times it has moved here. How many times it has moved? Yes. Then you will call it as angular frequency. Yes, sir. You stand here and you say, sir, you say linear frequency, not angular frequency. You stand here and say how many times it has moved here. You will call it as linear frequency. Okay. Multiplied by two pi, you will get angular frequency. Yes, sir. You stand here and say, you know, uh, how many uh, degrees it has moved? Yes, sir. In one one second, yes, then you will say it is angular velocity. Angular velocity. Yes. Are all angular ganda everything? Yes. So you, the same thing if you stand here and do, you will get the same things. Yes, sir. Sir, I understood whatever you said and everything is correct, sir. But this equation is contradicting, no, sir. Why it is contradicting? V V V is equal to R omega where you wrote, sir. Huh. R you can replace by R cos theta, sir. Hmm. For V is to be constant, sir. 
that you stand anywhere and measure hmm. it will be same yes sir that is that is how you should look at it okay sir. go by first principle see we we what happens to us no when we start using v is equal to omega r v is equal to omega r and we start doing it in circular motion you know then we are stuck with that we have never tried uh, seeing that point from some other point because we never had any numerical or we never had any situation to see this circular motion from some other point first time we are seeing that yes, and that is why you know we are not our mind is not accepting it okay yes <laughs> hello friends okay yes sir everybody om yes sir yes thank you anyway done okay anyway i i changed the variables that was a mistake so i think uh, with that change you know you got it done fine no issues hmm? Anyways, yes. anyway, see, I have to teach you some sp spherical coordinate system, cylindrical and all, you know, <laughs> then these things will become much more clear at all. Yes. Okay? No issues. Now, but now, see, basic thing is, you know, see, here I was also stuck like you, because I wrote something, then, you know, uh, I was listening to all of you, and I said, yes, there is something wrong here, you know, D5, same variables, I cannot take it here, and all the things, I was convinced. But then, how to go about doing it? That was the question because I have to answer all of you. I know that this is how it is because you see from here, you see from here it is same. So what did I do? I went to the first principles. Basically what is V? V is DL by DT. So that DL, whether you see from C or whether you see from O, it is the same. Only thing is how are you going to measure it? So when I measure DL from, when I measure DL from here, I will see it as R D5. When I see it from here, I will see it as R sin theta into D5. D5. That's all. The perspective will change. I will multiply it by sin theta. I see it. And now I have not taken anything constant here. Theta can change. Okay. And R small r can change, capital R can change. But they are all interrelated types. Yes. 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 Ah, by that only. See, see, basically, see, all of you first of all told, see from here also, see from here also, it is same. It cannot be different. Yes, sir. 